My name is Chris Craig, I'm 31 years old, I'm from Bells Hill in Lanarkshire, I now live in Kenning Park in Glasgow. I'm a mental health nurse with the NHS Scotland and I'm based in Glasgow as a mental health nurse as well. Um, today I was on an early shift so I'll just use an early shift as an example uh, I'll use that as my day. So quite often I'll wake up about quarter past six, it gives me a whole half hour to get ready for work. Um, I'm quite easy, Ozy. I have everything prepared the night before, I have myself prepared, my bag prepared and the only thing I really have to do is make sure that I bring my keys, my wallet, my phone and make sure I brush my teeth and bring my lunch with me as well. So like today for example it was um, some oat milk, some, some cereal and um, and some juice. So that's what it took to work with me today. Um, unfortunately I missed my bus this morning, I thought it was the weekday and it's actually Saturday today. So that's what I missed. So I had a whole half hour to wait around for my work obviously to explain they were fine with it so that's all great. But on a typical day I'd be arriving about oh, maybe quarter past seven, getting into the ward, just making sure I'm into the locker room, meeting my patients, meeting my colleagues and then having the handover which is like a, a brief report of all the patients. There's about 24 people in my ward so at any given time we'll have 24 patients in or they could be on pass or they could be out doing things in the uh, campus at the hospital. So we get the brief handover and what we deal with is patients with depression and suicidal ideation, um, schizophrenia, personality disorders, um, even addictions and sort of relapse prevention. So it can be quite a varied bunch of people that we have in the ward so we have to know them really well. The handover is very important, for example there's a lady who hasn't slept for several days recently so it's important to know if she's slept, if she's eaten, if she's sleep, if she's uh, if she's drinking as well so that's the sort of thing that's really important. Um, after that point I'll check the diaries, I'll check with my colleagues if anything needs to be done. We also do all the controlled drug checks, we do a safe check, uh, we'll make sure that the ward is clean, we'll change beds, um, We'll check that the racers have been handed in as well because we have a sign out and sign in system for people to shave themselves in the morning. Um, we'll then call people for breakfast and at that point we'll do the medication round so very important that we don't get interrupted but of course we do get interrupted quite a lot. It um, can be very easy to be distracted by people who are shouting or swearing or maybe kicking off somewhere else in the ward so you have to time manage and also people manage at the same time while also keeping your calm and being as cool as possible. So after all that's been done, today for example we typically would liaise with you know, occupational therapists, psychiatric nurses in other wards, uh, psychiatrists themselves, community psychiatric nurses who are looking after our patients in the community, um, physiotherapists, just all sorts of the, the multidisciplinary team. So. That's quite a lot of our time spent there. We email back and forth, we'll phone through, we'll book appointments for our patients and just liaise with patients and their families as well. And today was quite a lot of liaising with the police as we had patients off the ward who shouldn't have been or people who were feeling vulnerable in the community so they have to come back into the ward for their own benefit. And that was a bit stressful today. Um, if you're lucky you will get a break assigned to you by the senior charge nurse or the charge nurse who's there. Um, if you're not then it's just sort of go as you can and you'll be told as you can so if it's on the board you know what's going on during the day and if you don't then that's fair enough. It just depends on staffing levels. Um, I would say obviously the NHS is a little bit stressed at times with staff levels so hopefully we'll see more nurses signing up but um, after that we'll call for lunches as well 12 o'clock or thereabouts and we should at that point have had people away for breaks so that the staff don't get exhausted. Um, we also have certain patients who need to be escorted at all times so they have to have a member of staff with them. That's the legal requirement and those who are detained in the hospital as well they have to be in the hospital. Um, after this point my shift finishes at half past three so it's making sure that all our notes everything is documented properly. All the patients are obviously satisfied with their care and that the handover is completed to your colleagues if, if anything's not been finished or if anything important has not been passed on yet. Um, for example, if somebody's mother's phoned for them and they wanted to call back, you can't just leave that, you've got to pass on the message. Simple things like that can be missed and if they are missed then it causes lots of problems. So after that point I walk up to the bus stop from my work and 
I just very much enjoyed the fact of having my uniform off to try and relax a little bit because it's been quite a stressful day and I do love my job and it is very rewarding but after a busy day you just want to get the uniform off and relax especially in public because no one's coming up to you and asking you for things all the time <laughs> um, I just grabbed uh, a few things on the way home from the crusade came home and just tried to relax a little bit, do my housework and then later on I'll go training in the park just some cardio and then maybe weightlifting at the gym because I'm training to be a pro wrestler as well in my spare time so busy life but uh, I very much love my job um, after that I'd probably try and wind down in the afternoon watch something on TV um, usually watch YouTube or watching some wrestling channels or ICW, WWE, New Japan that sort of thing and then I would probably fall asleep some some point between midnight and four o'clock in the morning if I don't have work the next day and at the moment I would have a late shift tomorrow so I have no problems falling asleep tonight you know I wouldn't have to set an alarm to tell me to go to sleep I can actually go to sleep whenever I want because I don't have to go back into work until one o'clock tomorrow tomorrow afternoon I should say so there's no stress there um, for example, you could be doing a late shift, a long day, and then the early shift. So really that whole period, you're just working, sleeping, working, sleeping, working. So this is a nice little break. So that's what I'll be doing tonight. Falling asleep some point between midnight and four o'clock. Thank you very much.